Hi campers, it's Miss Yaz um, from Camp Quarantine. Uh, today's art lesson is brought to you by one of my favorite artists of all time. Her name is Yayoi Kosama. She was actually from Japan and um, she moved to America. And what I've done is I've actually read this story today to tell you a bit about her. But some fast facts are that she was from Japan um, and that when she was from uh, from a very young age, she loved to draw so, um, draw spots or dots on everything. So if you see a lot of her work, it's a lot of spots or dots or 3D spots, which are like balls or spheres. And she did a lot of artwork that you could see anywhere. So um, I'll show you a few things. I actually went to this room. Um, it's called the Infinity, uh, Infinity Mirrored Room. And basically, it's a very, very small room with mirrors in it. So there were hanging lights or spots, and the mirrors made it look like it went forever and ever and ever. The other thing that um, is very famous for Yayoi Kusama is, where is it? She saw spots and everything. These pumpkins. She made giant, giant pumpkins and put spots on them okay so i've done that activity with my kids before and you could try it if you wanted is to draw a pumpkin and do lots of spots on it but the lesson that we're going to do today is quite um big and it why shouldn't it be it's a sculpture week it's the end of the week so what we want to try and do is make a sculpture for something that looks like this. So this is actually a real room that's white. And in this exhibition, it's called the Obliteration moon, uh, Room. The Obliteration Room. And so what they did to obliterate this room is we got invited when you went to the exhibition to cover it in spots, sticker spots, like that, okay? And here is me in the obliteration room and this room was white and I'm sitting in the corner and everything was covered in stickers. Um, pianos, couches, tables, dining chairs, lamps, uh, bookshelves, absolutely everything was covered in stickers. So what we're gonna do today is the ultimate sculpture because you could just take this all over the place. Is the first thing you need to do is have get a box, okay? And in that box, you're going to glue white paper inside. Okay, because the obliteration room is white. Then you need to make yourself, with the help of an adult or an older brother or sister, or just yourself, some furniture. So what furniture could you put in there? So what we've got here is some chairs, just made out of paper. Okay, I've got another a table. I'll show you the table. So you can kind of see, how did I, how did we make those? My husband actually made these. Thanks, Seb. So good, just with paper, okay? And I'll show you how to make a simple chair that you could try and follow it up. And here we've got a bookshelf. So here is my obliteration room sculpture, okay? Now, the first thing you need to do is make some furniture, okay? So I'll show you how to make a chair. And what I've done here is I've just got four, one, two, three, four small rectangles that I've folded in half, okay? They've all got to be the same size or the same length because chairs have got to have the same size legs. Then I've got a square and all I've done is folded in the sides, okay? So we've got the, the, the seat of the chair, and all I'm going to do is get my triangle, or rectangle, sorry, and glue the tops of them and put it around my square. Let me see if this works. We might need to use some tape to make it stronger. But if you could do glue, that'd be great. Put some glue here. How's that going? Yeah. Oh. I feel like my legs might be a bit too long. 
This one is all about experimenting. And what you could do is look around your room or the lounge room and think, hmm, what could I put in my obliteration room? Okay, it's funny, isn't it? We're going to actually just make a room that's white. I feel like my legs are definitely too big or too long. Do it again. You can always just fix it. I guess it could be a side table. Okay. Here we go. Ooh. There you go. There's a stool. To give it a chair vibe, I've just got a square or a rectangle, sorry, and cut out another rectangle. And I'm going to put glue at the bottom. My chair looks a bit wonky. <laughs> Here we go. You'll probably do a better job, guys, because you're not going to be filmed. I feel like, okay. And here's my chair. Is my chair leg coming off? Maybe. Here we go. You can always just use some tape. There we go. Another chair. Oh, my chair is wonky. That's right. We can always just fix it. Here's my chair. Okay. So all I've done is use some simple shapes like squares and rectangles to fold them. Okay. Without the back, if you make a bigger rectangle, it's just a table. Okay. See what type of furniture you can actually make. So when you've actually got your furniture, we need to obliterate it, okay? So I'm a bit unsure of how to best do this. You could just use textures, color it all in, different spots, spot, spot, spot. So remember, Yayoi was famous for spots. I'll show you. Lots and lots and lots. Of spots okay so that's one thing you could do with this obliteration room your own obliteration room is cover it in spots with paint or texture or you could do a bit of cheating okay what I did was she was famous for spots I could be famous for stars so what I did was I just went to office works and bought a whole load of stars okay to cover my obliteration room Okay, are you ready? I will uh, do this in time lapse, but I can't wait to see what sculptures you made uh, or, or what room you decided to make and what did you cover it with. Now, remember, if you change shapes, just keep the same shape, change the colors. So she did spots, you could do hearts. I did, I'm doing stars. What are, what's your Yayoi uh, Kusama inspired obliteration room? Okay. I can't wait to see. All right, watch out for the time lapse and I'll um, see you soon. All right, have fun with Yayo Kusama. Bye.